Well, Eddie Manis is officially now the Republican nominee for House District 18. That ruling coming in a vote by the Republican Party of Tennessee tonight. So the final vote is 43 no votes, 18 yes votes. Uh, the contest is denied. Eddie Manis is the nominee for House District 18. Yeah, it comes nearly a month after Manis won the primary. The outcome disputed in the last few weeks by Manis's Republican opponent, Gina Oster. WAT6 on your side, reporter Elizabeth Kubel. Hearing from both Manis and Oster tonight after their party voted to keep Manis on the ballot. Elizabeth. Yeah, that's right, Bo. A show of confidence for Eddie Manis tonight, denying Oster's contest and reconfirming his primary victory. After Oster claimed his campaign actively solicited Democratic voters to vote in the Republican primary. I talked to both Manis and Oster immediately after tonight's vote. Manis tells me it gives him a big sense of relief after what he calls a tough few days and weeks. Listening to the will of the voter uh, is really what should have been done. And I'm grateful for the confidence that the, the 43 members had uh, in me. And so uh, it's just a relief for, you know, a day or two and then on and fighting hard. There's a lot more pressure now than ever before. Uh, I got a lot riding on me at this point, so we're going to work hard. And Manis says he is ready to listen to voters in District 18 who did not vote for him, hear their concerns, and work for their votes. Meantime, his Republican challenger, Gina Oster, who contested the election results, tonight telling me she is going to move on and take this as a learning experience. I stood up for something that I believed in, and it was definitely not popular. It's been a hard few weeks that I decided to do that, but for me, it was right because I've been a Republican all my life, and I value our party, and I feel like that if you're going to have rules, you need to stick by those rules. And Oster says she is not considering taking any further legal action. Bo. Elizabeth, thank you very much. Manis now goes on to face Virginia Couch in November. The Knox County Democratic Party, as a matter of fact, releasing a statement saying, quote, while the Knox County GOP has been engaged in yet another internal ideological battle, the Knox County Democratic Party and Virginia Couch have been contacting thousands of voters and talking about the real issues that matter. Going on to say from day one, Virginia Couch has had our 100% support, and we look forward to sending her to Nashville this November, end quote.